Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I appreciate your love and support today. For those of you single and looking, we are going to find out who will you be in your next relationship with. This is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Okay, Taurus, spirits and angels, please show me. Who will Taurus be in your next relationship with? Five Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Taurus, interesting. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna like this because King of Pentacles and Page of Cups. Maybe this person will be somebody younger than you are, and you're gonna be suspicious of this person. You'd be wondering, like, is does this person want me for money? Okay, that's first the first scenario that I saw, Taurus. But hear me out. There, there's another different storyline here. Just take what resonates with you, okay? And for some of you, maybe you've already met this person. Some of you haven't yet. If you haven't met this person yet, so you may not resonate with it at all, okay? So we've got the Eight of Swords here, Page of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. This person may be younger than you are, and you'll be you you'll be thinking a lot uh, in regards of should I give this person a chance? Should I accept their offer of love, or to date this person, or you? Know, you know, you'll be like, should I, should I not? They seem younger. Um, they seem kind of different. Uh, four pentacles here in reverse. Are they trying to, do they want something from me? That's what I'm getting here. Are they sincere? That's one thing that you are going to be questioning yourself uh, or questioning them as well if they are sincere or if you will have to take care of this person, especially if they're younger than you are. Uh, will I spend money on this person? Are they, do they like me because I'm older or because I have more money? That's the first storyline, okay? The second storyline I'm seeing here, Taurus, it could be uh, if the King of Pentacles is them, uh, Taurus, because the only reason why I saw the first storyline as such was because of the King of Pentacles here, because this is actually your energy, right? Taurus, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, unless this person is also somebody like you are, then I feel like uh, perhaps if this is your person, this is the person, okay, that you will be in your next relationship with. I would say this is someone uh, financially stable, but they do think a lot, okay. They could be stuck, stuck at work or stuck in their job um, that has very little freedom for them, okay. I could mean that and the chariot here in reverse. Yeah, they may have this very demanding job that they work really hard and that they are stuck in that job because, but that job pays a lot of money, okay? So this could be the main reason why this person will be kind of like stuck in that job because this job pays a lot of money and they're already at a level, a pretty high level of position. So yeah, that's definitely what I'm seeing here. The world can indicate maybe this person also travels the world. The stuck, of uh, being stuck does not mean stuck at a job in an office. Could be, you know, with the same job where they have commitments where they will have to travel here and there. It could indicate that with the world here. Or it could also indicate both of you will be meeting each other uh, online or while you're traveling or this person may be different. Um, may be different from you are yeah different ethnicity or different kind of profession can be anything okay something that is very opposite from you very different from you so we've got the seven of pentacles here this is somebody whom um i feel that they have a lot of investments okay i feel like a lot of their money is invested in real estate or anything okay that they see that you know that but another thing I'm getting here that their money may be stuck in all these <laughs> investments that they could be investing on. Okay, it could be real estate, it can be anything here. For some of you, it's you meeting this person while you are buying house, selling house. This person could also be a real estate agent. It could be, I'm not saying that they are, but whatever the case is, it feels like this is somebody who has money, okay? Somebody stable financially. And we've got the, and another opposite, I told you the first story it could be either or it could go you know vice versa here as in maybe maybe um, 
you are the one who has all the money. You are the stable one. While they're the ones who, you know, is younger. Younger doesn't have as much money as you do. And be wondering if they are uh, a gold digger or if they want something from you. It could go like this, okay? Vice versa. Let's take what resonates with you, uh, Taurus. Queen of Swords is right here. So this is somebody uh, of no nonsense, no BS as well. I feel like they, there's a very strict energy in regards to them. Okay, but they're also somebody very powerful, I would say, powerful and uh, very magnetic, okay? Mm, I feel like both of you will attract, will be very attracted to each other. Let's see more. Yeah, so king and a queen. One is upright, one is in reverse. I don't know. I feel like Taurus, it could go vice versa again. It's either this person has a lot of money, yep, or you're the one who has a lot of money. But there is a little bit of a difference here in terms of uh, either financial or it could be job. Hmm. Because the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse, may, it could also indicate, okay, one another storyline I'm seeing here. If you're going through some financial issues, okay, the ones who are going through financial issues, I feel like rarely a lot of Taurus uh, in financial, that have financial issues. Most Taurus uh, that I know of, they are very stable financially. However, I'm not saying that, you know, it doesn't mean every Taurus has money. But for those of you, if you are financially struggling right now, I feel like maybe you will meet this person, but this person is going to actually take care of you financially, okay? With the King of Pentacles or vice versa. It could be you taking care of somebody else who is going through some financial issues, okay? Five of Pentacles and a Page of Cups. And that that reminded me again of that first storyline where maybe this is somebody less financially secure or stable as you are and you may have to help them okay financially and then you're gonna start wondering if this person wants you for your money or not okay so we've got the sun here the sun for me may indicate happiness positivity um, five of wands here can indicate also maybe this person may have a child, okay? Or that you may have a child. And that could be five of wands, could be some arguments, end up getting into an argument in regards of someone having a child or children. This is very specific. It's just for some of you, uh, Taurus. Five of wands also can indicate third party situation. Some of you, uh, this person may put you in a third party situation while both of you meet each other. Maybe this person has somebody else or maybe you have somebody else, okay? But I feel like whatever issues there could be with the five of wands, eventually with the world here, I feel like both of you will have this new chapter, right? New beginning, uh, start a relationship together. I feel like with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Wands here, this person again could be somebody who travels a lot. They go here and there. Or perhaps it could be work related or it could be just them liking to travel. This person may be a Five Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and Nine of Cups here. For some of you, that could be like one ending uh, between the two of you. And then perhaps that could be a chance of a reconciliation installation between the two of you all right taurus this is your reading i hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel and the second playlist is from this channel it has all of the readings that i've ever done uh with different topics different questions you can just scroll all the way down click on the playlist on the screen right now and just scroll all the way down and look for your sign okay there could be some important messages for you over there and taurus i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below and also, I post my videos all, almost every single day. So if you like to be notified every time I post your videos, Taurus, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care. Bye.